If you're shopping for gym equipment and you're new to the, the game, one thing that I think is pretty confusing and, and it, to be honest, it pisses me off is how people classify equipment as commercial, home use. And I just thought I'd, I'd give a bit of um, insight about the, the rules or lack thereof in Australia. I guess the rules we sell in gym equipment in Australia is that there are none. You can, I was new to the industry. I just started selling it. You don't need a license. You don't need to apply for anything. You just bring it in and sell it. Now that's good and bad. The good part for you, the customer, is that there's so much competition. There's too much competition in my view that, you know, you don't want the place where you buy your gym equipment to go broke because if you've got any issues, you'd like to get them solved. So I think that it is important that you make money when you're selling gym equipment. But the downside for the customer is that you can say anything's commercial and there's no standard, there's no law in place to say what is commercial or what's domestic. Personally, myself, and, and I really love the, the German or ATX system. In Europe, they've got European standards that classify domestic and, and commercial use. This machine here is what I would call domestic, um, and that's what it's been um, tested and classified as, but it's been used in gyms and would be so much better than some leg presses that some people would call commercial in Australia. Now, this beast here, in the old days, I would even call this um, light commercial. Now this thing's a tank, it can handle anything that you can throw at it. Um, how we used to sort of roughly classify commercial, light commercial and domestic would be uh, if it was the frame was fully welded, then that would be considered full commercial. So the side would be welded and then you might just bolt the two sides together. But this unit's completely flat packed comes in a crate so i would say using my old classification this was light commercial but as i said this thing will be as strong as you know any of the commercial leg presses and especially the the ones that aren't the name brands it is confusing for the customer because you know you might look online you don't get to see the the equipment in person the person selling it telling you it's commercial with the ATX range, all their equipment is certified. One of the things I like about selling equipment that's from overseas as opposed to I could just go to a factory in China and get my stuff made. The best way to put it is they say that America innovates, China imitates, and Europe regulates. Now, what I like about selling the American equipment is although the, the rules there aren't um, as formal as, and as structured as they are in Europe. I think they've got the best system for classifying equipment. That is, they've got an overzealous legal industry where if you make a, a piece of equipment and you get injured, you get sued. So there's a real incentive for any business that wants to be around for a long time they want to make, and, and if they want to protect their brand and they want to stay in business, they've got to make equipment that's safe. And to give an example, when I was selling uh, Powertech, the shape system was one of my favorite pieces and it got pulled off the market because people would be able to tip the machine over when the uh, cables were fully extended. There was no reason you should ever tip that machine over. What exercise you do when the cables are fully out and keep pulling, I don't know. I've never done that myself, but they had to pull it from the market. So that was a good way of regulating and providing safeguards for the customer. Now in Europe, obviously they've got the European standards. So then if you want to sell equipment, you've got to meet certain criteria to classify it within the certain domestic or commercial grading. And I guess in true European fashion, this regulation has actually led, um, obviously it adds to costs. So um, you'll see say 500 series, which is the lowest grading for ATX racks. Um, we can actually show them in a gym in Finland. The regulations in Europe, all, all sorts of, from pollution, labor, every aspect 
is that regulated that it's hard to comply with the regulations. But for the Australian customer, it just gives you peace of mind if you're buying a piece of equipment um, that's come from those two markets. Generally, if it's, a, it's a bigger brand. They've got more capabilities in terms of manufacturing and, and getting things right before they actually get to you. But I guess the most important thing is, in my case, Ironmaster, they've been around for decades. ATX, Barbarian, they've been around for decades too. So when they're making something, they don't want to jeopardize all that year of being in business, all that goodwill with customers. They don't want to make a piece of equipment that's not suitable for whatever application. So that's that's the way I look at it. You know, as an end customer, I can relate to that. Uh, in my instance, I'm putting my whole livelihood and you know my whole business on the line every time I buy a container. That's why I've been around for so long and still have a, a, a good reputation with my customers because I don't like to take gambles. Yes, the stuff's going to be a bit more expensive than the cheaper stuff. But even now with the inflation, the cheaper stuff is no longer cheap. So if you're smart, you can actually get like a good quality leg press power rack that's been in commercial gyms throughout the world for the same price or, or a little bit more than something that's um, just come from a Chinese factory. There's no backing. There's no, the investment in the brand is nowhere near as much. And um, in the case of the US equipment, there's no potential litigation. So yeah, just uh, when you're looking at equipment in Australia, don't always go by, you know, what they say. Find some evidence that backs it up. We've got this, the certificates. We've got everything to support our case. Plus you can see it online in social media and gyms throughout the world that the piece of equipment that you're looking at has been sold somewhere else many times over and done its job.